So who buys a Toyota Tacoma anyway? Cold start. Oh yeah, baby. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? So who does? Who buys a Tacoma anyway, right? What what is the demographic? Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over this based on uh, based on my channel. Uh, because, you know, we have demographics in the analytics on the channel that kind of show you the age range of uh, people that watch and, and you can see where people are from and all that kind of thing. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to take a look at it from that perspective. This is by no means scientific and I am not trying to predict uh, future or current owners of the Tacoma. I can only tell you who buys the Tacoma uh, based on my information from my channel. So let's start off. First of all, I love the Tacoma. Awesome truck. Been around forever. And uh, there definitely is on my channel an age range. I noticed this uh, when I started out the second channel, which is Rob Motive JT, um, about my Jeep Gladiator. And I look at things like this because, you know, it's what we YouTubers do. We look at analytics and stuff to see how the channel's doing and who's watching and all that kind of thing. At least age range and stuff like that. So I discovered that with the Toyota Tacoma, the age range of at least folks that watch my channel seems to be about 25 to 35 or so years old. Somewhere right in that range, right? And... I really expected it to be about the same uh, for the Jeep Gladiator, but I was surprised. Um, the Jeep Gladiator channel actually pulls in people from about uh, 30 to 40, right in that range. So it's a little bit older demographic. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. Maybe it's because the Gladiator is so expensive, um, and maybe some of the younger folks just don't have the income for it. Or maybe the younger folks are wiser and, and want to put their money other places and just don't want to spend it on the Gladiator. Um, I don't know. That's that's just one reason. Um, I think the reason people buy the Toyota Tacoma, well, there's a couple, a few. You know, first of all, it's a gorgeous looking truck. I think it's, you know, the best looking truck out there on the road. Um, it's very moddable. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands of things that you can do, or at least variations of things that you can do with the Toyota Tacoma. Although there are probably an equivalent number of mods and things out there that you can do on the Jeep as well. But still, I think because the Gladiator is so new um, that there probably are still more, uh, more variety anyway of things that you can do with the Toyota Tacoma. Um, it's reliability. You know, Toyota has kind of hedged their bets, I guess, on the Toyota Tacoma's reliability for years, and it's worked. Um, I think even though maybe they've taken a little bit of a ding over the last two, three years, something like that, um, it's still highly regarded as the most reliable truck out there. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, um, it's more reliable than the Jeep, at least for you know, little quirky things that pop pop up. You know, on the Gladiator, I've had check engine light, I've had an auto stop failure, I had a black radio screen. Um, I haven't had any of those issues on the Tacoma. Nothing has gone wrong, uh, which is very refreshing. You know, I don't like to have to screw around with that kind of stuff, especially when I just got the truck, right? I mean, who wants to get a brand new truck and then a month later or whatever, be in the shop with it? Nobody wants to do that. That's not why we buy new trucks, right? We don't buy new trucks so that we can spend our time back at the dealership where we probably already spent too much time buying it, right? So reliability is uh, definitely uh, a big factor, I think. Um, size, you know, the difference between going from a, a midsize to a full-size truck, I think is pretty substantial. You know, I have the Tundra and it's a big truck. You know, and it's one of the biggest, I think, um, for its footprint. And the Tacoma is uh, is more manageable. 
you know, it'll fit in your garage most likely unless you have a really small garage, whereas the Tundra won't. It won't fit in every garage. Neither will a lot of the full-size trucks. They're just too long. Driving them around is more difficult. It takes more concentration. Uh, you have to be more aware of the spaces that you're in. Parking them is more difficult. You ever navigate through a crowded, uh, the crowded city streets or parking lot in a full-size truck? Or how about a parking garage? You know, where it always feels like you're gonna hit that ceiling, right? And then you gotta make those tight turns and they always make those parking spaces because they're trying to fit as many cars as they can in there, so narrow that they barely fit. And I believe there are several of those garages that have uh, the spaces marked compact car only. So you can't even park your truck in there. You know, that's kind of a drag. So they're easier to drive, I think, um, than a full size. And unless you really need a full size, like for work or maybe just for convenience. I mean, obviously there's more room in the full size. If you have a family, and you need to fit, you know, three or four kids in there and a spouse and maybe the dog, it'd get quite tight inside the, the Toyota Tacoma. I had somebody uh, real recently mention to me that one of the reasons they went to the Tundra or do not drive a Tacoma is because they go camping and they've got all the gear and the kids and two dogs and maybe a hyena or a cow or a, I don't know, but they've got a lot of stuff that they take with them, right? And it just doesn't fit. So it makes sense to me from that perspective that yeah, you may want to uh, go to something full size if that's your situation because it's gonna make your life a lot easier, right? Uh, fuel economy, you know, while the Tacoma is not great, I think it's pretty much on par with the others that are out there. Um, certainly better than the full size, not hugely. Uh, and depending on what you do with it, obviously, if you lift it and put bigger wheels and tires and all that kind of stuff on it, uh, you're going to start to lose some fuel economy. Uh, ask me how I know. Um, but if that matters to you, then yeah, I think the Tacoma is in line and uh, pretty much in line with the other uh, trucks that are out there. They might get a mile or two per gallon better, but in the end, it really comes down to driving style there. If you're heavy in the foot, probably going to be pretty equivalent. Uh, one thing, uh, one last thing I want to mention because I had done uh, a couple of videos recently about the uh, Consumer Reports article and that they ranked the uh, Tacoma as a model to avoid and they even ranked the Ford Ranger and the Honda Ridgeline higher. Uh, and that is the Honda Ridgeline. You know, the Honda Ridgeline, and I'm not gonna get on here and dog the Honda Ridgeline. I mean, it has its place, right? I mean, you can use it as a truck as far as hauling stuff in the back or whatever. I mean, that's probably why people get it. You know, if you live in a suburban setting and you're not using the truck for work, but you wanna be able to take it out on the weekends or whatever and pick up a bag of mulch or a flat of posies, you know, something like that, it makes sense to me and it has its place, but you know, if you're using your truck for off-roading or hauling or towing or, you know, more so as a real truck, um, then I think that's another reason why people would choose the Tacoma in the midsize market um, over a Ridgeline. Um, and it has its problems too. You know, I mentioned in that Consumer Reports video that uh, they've had electrical problems and some other issues as well. So no truck is perfect, unfortunately. Uh, but I think the Tacoma comes pretty darn close. Very reliable, very good looking, lots of modability. It will basically satisfy any itch that you might have. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit. I found it kind of interesting. I was looking at my own analytics the other night and uh, just kind of uh, find it a little surprising that uh, the Gladiator actually is at a an older age range, age range than the to Toyota Tacoma is. Who knows? Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, please check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor. 
Smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.